Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer from North Wales. Today we're covering something I've never covered on this channel before, which is macro extension tubes. So if you're looking to do any sort of macro photo or video work, on the Sony system, you've got mainly a choice of two lenses. There's the Sony 90mm macro lens, or there's the Sigma 70mm macro lens. And depending where you shop from, they will cost you a lot of money. These, on the other hand, this little set is from Newer. I'm sure you're probably all aware of them. One of those standard Amazon camera gear brands. So in the box, a little bit of paperwork, but we're not too concerned about that. In this little pouch, we have our extension tubes. So there's two of them in this set. We have a 10 millimeter one and a 16 millimeter one. Very simply, all these are is hollow tubes, which push your lens further away from your camera's sensor, which is affecting the flange distance and all that sort of stuff, which allows it to have a closer focusing distance. So with the 10 millimeter ring, you can see that is going to push the lens 10 millimeters further away from the sensor. With the 16 millimeter, it's going to push it 16 millimeters away from the sensor. And of course, you can combine them into one, which will give you 26 millimeters. So I did actually pick up some macro extension tubes for my Nikon system, probably two or three years ago now. And honestly, I just never really got around to using them. I never found the scenario for them and in the few times that I did play around with them I just really struggled at times partly because it was all manual focus there were no connectors in the tubes themselves so the lens was completely separate from the camera you could not control the two together these on the other hand if you can see inside they have electrical contacts which means that they will still allow the camera to talk to the lens so you can autofocus. So right now, today, just over there, I'm actually going to be shooting some B-roll for another video coming up shortly, which is which is all about this speed light. It's the Godox V860 Mark II S for Sony bodies. And I'm going to try and get some really nice, really close up shots of this speed light. So, let's get to it. Okay folks, so I hope that you can see me. Obviously I'm using my big light up here for the products rather than myself. So I've just got the little Aperture M9 on there. Uh, got a little bit of a studio setup, big black backdrop on the back. I've put this little deflector on the side as well, turned to black so that it's catching any loose light. Obviously for what you're doing, you may not need any of this, but for those who are interested, Aperture 120D, Aperture ALM9 for myself, Aperture ALMC, throwing a bit of a purple cast over the products. Uh, yeah, that'll do for now. So right now I've got my two Godox speed lights set up in front of me. I've got the V860 Mark II showing its name tag that's the one that I'm really focusing on. And then I've also got the TT685S as well next to it, because they are basically identical bodies. So it's a very good, easy way of showing all the way around it. So right now I'm shooting on the Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8. I won't be shooting at f1.8 because I want to show a lot of the product. Right now, without the extension tubes. This is just about my minimum focus distance. So I can focus right there, but from there, I'm not getting anything. So what we'll do is we'll take a shot from here. What I'll usually do for video is I'll focus initially and then throw it into manual focus just so that it's not hunting around or anything. So we'll just do a quick shot here. So 
So as you might see, with each take I might play around a few times and then I can just pick the best, the smoothest from the lot when I'm editing. So that looks pretty decent. One trick that I do tend to use a fair bit is I have my C2 button on my Sony cameras mapped to the Super 35 mode. So that is one pretty good way of punching in to the image, especially in the case where you're at the minimum focus distance and you cannot physically get closer to the product. So from the same position, I'll just do a quick little take now in Super 35 mode. And now what we'll do, we'll switch the camera off quickly and we will just add the 16mm extension tube. So we'll take the lens off, add the tube to the lens. This isn't very well marked, but just bear in mind that in the end, you still need the dots on the side to be lined up. Okay, so once we've done that, you'll see we are completely out of focus. So we'll try also focusing and that's not having any of it. So what we actually physically need to do is move the camera closer to the subject. And you should see it starting to come into focus. So there we go. See how much I had to move closer that's just with one extension ring. So now we'll get the dummy one out of the way and we'll just get a real close up of the V860 Mark II. Get a nice shot of the buttons right there. So pretty much face on shots of the display and buttons. So what we'll switch it on as well. I love that sound. Adjust our exposure. Now this is a flat surface, so here I can open up my aperture knowing that it's not gonna affect the depth of field too much. So we'll autofocus on the buttons and then do the same again. We'll go into manual focus and take our shot. And I'll just switch it into autofocus quickly so I can try and get the name in focus as well. Oof. It's not doing a great job. I think that bit's actually still too far away. So I'll try a little closer. There we go. I'll do for that one. I've just realized I was in super 35 mode for that one still. Now we're not in super 35 mode. We'll see just how close we can get to the subject, keeping it in focus. Let's use the buttons. Okay, so it's staying in focus by there. Yeah, by there. So that is, by my reckoning, about 20, 25 centimeters using the 16mm extension tube. And what we'll do is we'll throw on the 10mm extension tube as well and see how much closer we can get again. Okay, so still keeping the buttons in focus. Let's see what we can do. Still in focus. Still, where are we? Okay, so about there is our minimum. That's even closer again, isn't it? So that is with just the 55 mil lens. What we'll do now is we'll try it with the 85 mil lens and see how close we have to get with that one. Let's have a look, manual focus. 
So what I can tell you straight off the bat is that the minimum focus for this lens, that's the Sony 85mm f1.8, is usually 80 centimeters. So you can see we're clearly already closer than that right now. Let's see if we're focusing here. Yep. There we go. So we're focused right now at probably 40 centimeters. So we've pretty much halved the minimum focus distance there. And that is using both of the macro tubes. So let's try this shooting at 85 mil. Okay, I'll try it with autofocus. And that snaps in pretty quickly still. And now what we can still do is go into super 35 mode. So we're already pretty close with a pretty long focal length. Let's times that by 1.5. And that is how close up we can get to our buttons. So yeah, that's pretty impressive really. So yeah, before now, I've never really been able to utilize, I, I love the 85mm and I loved using it with my Lumix G9. I had the Lumix 42.5mm and obviously my four thirds, tiny little lenses, I could get really close up to my subjects. Not so much with this stuff. So these macro tubes, they're going to really help me get some really nice close up footage and photos as well. I'm dead chuffed. For the sake of £30, I think I'm going to get a hell of a lot of use out of these. So there we go. That is what you can do with these macro extension tubes. Obviously, it's not just limited to video. You can, of course, do macro photography with these things as well. And for £30, compared to the hundreds and hundreds of pounds that you could spend on a macro lens, I'd say this is a very worthy investment, especially if you're just getting into macro work and... You're not a hundred percent if that's something you're really gonna spend a lot of time doing. So the main con with these that I've noticed is they're a bit loose. It's not a very solid connection between your lens and camera body. So for example, I don't know if you can hear that. There's definitely a bit of play in there. Now between the tubes and the lens, it's not too bad. But once you attach it to the camera, especially with a bigger lens, then you will start to notice that wobble a little bit more. So it's not something I'd be running around in the forests and the hills with. I don't know, it might just be my copy that's a little bit loose. The rest of them might be fine, but something to keep an eye on. Overall though, I think they're a great little set. I think for me, I'll literally be using them here in the studio, just doing some little close-up bits and pieces for other videos. I have no need right now to be spending a grand or whatever on a nice Sony macro lens. So these will do the job just fine for me. Now then, it's giveaway time. So if you've been following the channel for a while and you've been keeping an eye on things, you may have noticed that just yesterday, as of time of recording, I finally passed the 1000 subscriber mark. My watch hours have been pretty high for quite some time so it's just been the subscriber count which has been keeping me from monetizing my videos honestly i still find it a little bit hard to believe that there's a thousand people well more than a thousand people subscribed to my channel watching my opinion on things yeah still seems a little bit nuts to me but as a little thank you i'm going to be doing a giveaway following the theme of this week's video I'll be giving away a set of these macro extension tubes. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and let me know what your plans are for the extension tubes. It won't be this set. I'll be buying another set depending on what 
brand of camera you use. So if you could also tell me what brand of camera system you're using, that's very important if you want to get the right set. Uh, I'll give you all until, what's the date today? It is the 8th of September today. This probably won't be uploaded until next Sunday, the 13th. So I'll give you all until the 20th of September to leave a comment down below. And then I might actually do my first ever live stream to announce the winner. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Obviously hit subscribe so that you don't miss that announcement video. Do give this video a like if you liked it and yeah, comment any thoughts or anything as well, whether you want the extension tubes or not. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.